Boom. I went to confess my sins. Chica, chica, chica. They do grow pretty in Texas. Hi, Kevin. Nice to meet you and welcome to Cine.com. Yes. Starring in this movie, Abbott. Uh, how was he in you in the character of Eric? How connected was I to being a drug dealer? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, you know. Um, I felt bad for him, you know. He's sort of uh, out of his depth, washed up, lost. Um, and... Of course, like all low, low rent drug dealers, not the top guy, just a, a life of chaos that's ready at any time to implode and go wrong as it does. So, any interesting or intimidated moment at the set? Every day is um, intimidating in some way, you know, because you don't want to screw up and you've got a whole lot of people that are. Uh, dependent on you on that moment you know what i mean the whole production is dependent on when it says action action and you're all rolling in action um that you make magic so that's always happening um and um you know i guess i have an intimate moment with bella and you know you always want that to be um comfortable for everyone you know what i mean and not not sort of awkward and uh, so we had a very close set just me Bella Janelle and Rain who's the female uh, cinematographer from Hong Kong and so just a close set of four of us and that was um that was that was a, a great day of work for me <laughs> a great day of work I was I loved my job particularly that day Paris Paris um I can't really say enough about you know she's really incredible and I think could could easily be a movie star if she wanted to. Her presence and her eyes and her, uh, you know, she's, she's really, she's something else. I mean, she's the sort of, uh, the, the, well, I don't know, the dark horse of the movie. I mean, Bella's fantastic. And, um, and then Paris is, is really, it's really special. And I think that they both have such insane careers ahead of them. They're both like babies, you know. So how exactly was the most important or particular thing that called your attention to participate in this movie? The amount of the sort of female energy, you know, I like the female director and then the movie about these girls. Um, to to extend girl power, um, kind of taking the, the whole um, religious aspect and really turning on it on its head and being quite um, brazen with it, you know, quite modern. It was thought it was really brave, you know, and uh, early Tarantino-esque, you know, sensibility, but yeah, directed by a woman, you know, and so like, that brings out a whole different, quite opposite uh, qualities, you know. Women are pretty wild in this movie too. I mean, there is a lot of action involved, a lot of, of course, drugs and a lot of, it's a thriller. I mean, it has a little bit of everything, I think. Yeah, it has a, it has a lot of excitement, a lot of elements of excitement and a wild life. And um, yeah, with kind of socially conscious ideas about the progress of women, the power of women. And just, it was really good to be involved with that. Um, written by Libby um, and Janelle and um, I was just happy to be part of it you know like it's fun it's fun to uh, be in movies and and go to work on with a different thing that isn't music you know um, different challenge and really really difficult and you know Bella I mainly work with Bella and with Jamie Hintz from The Kills and Bella has a lifetime of experience And Jamie is is has wanted to be an actor, but then just got went off with um, the kills and was amazing. So it was fun to be. He was kind of finding his way, and that brought out something different in me acting with him and rehearsing with him uh, because he was not, you know, he was he was full of questions and just figure out his own space to be in, you know. And so that I think that makes for an interesting scene. It's been, It's not, it's not fluid, it's sort of full of like, you know, questions and 
And so that that gives its own, you know, complexity to it. You know, I like that. And then with Bella, she's so good that it's effortless and it's so charismatic. Um, there's a different process to act with her and where you're actually kind of keeping up because she's like off being incredible and off being like natural and amazing and doesn't need to um, slow down at all. And with Jamie, it was more studied and, you know, changing his voice. It just was, it was, it was a completely different experience with both of them. And I, I hope that brought different sides out in my character because, you know, we're all different people to different people, right? So if you act with two different actors, um, they're going to give you a different thing to bounce off of. And that's all it is, right? It's reacting, acting and reacting, listening, talking, and being real, you know, just like we are. And of course, you as a musician, this movie has a lot to do with, you know, rock and roll. It's amazing. I love both, you know, and I've been so lucky to have such an amazing career in, in music and still doing that and still making records and making a new one now. And then it's just, I just love the, to, to be in movies. I mean, I've grown up watching movies. I, you know, listen to, I've watched as many movies as I've, if I listen to music. So uh, there are two art forms that I really respect and love. And I've always been careful, you know, I've done quite a few movies now. I've done six, seven, I'm not sure, seven, and a bunch of TV things. And um, I'm always learning stuff and always trying to get better. And I always feel like I, I get out of it for so long, I'm not fit, you know, not, not my chops aren't there. And then, then you do something and you feel, oh yeah, I feel really good. They want to go do another movie. And then you go do a record. So it's a bit difficult to stop and start. But um, it's, uh, I love that thing of bringing um, words to life, you know. Thank you so much, Yavin. It was so lovely to have you in Cinedacon, and I think Thanks this is amazing. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. See you. You're welcome.